Hey, congratulations for follow her here. How how does it feel that this film is being showcased at Screamfest? Uh, I'm thrilled that for follow her to be at the Chinese theater. I mean, this is such an iconic place, and for our film to be here and showcased on a Thursday evening, I mean, it's, we're thrilled. We're thrilled and honored to be here. Now, how are you brought on board to this project? What actually drew you in? Well, Sylvia and I have been collaborating, working together at this point, probably about eight or nine years. So when she brought, when she decided that she was going to direct Follower, she brought the script to me and said, I would like for you to read this because I want you to consider producing it. I read the script. I loved it. Knowing that she was directing, I was immediately on board and I said, let's go. So you worked with Sylvia before, which she, she came from the documentary world. Did you come from the documentary world too? No, I... I have worked in commercials and in corporate films, but I also have a relationship with Sylvia. We also produce a PBS show, Samantha Brown's Places to Love Together. So she directs the show, she's the series producer, but I also produce the show and uh, sometimes direct the show. So we've traveled the world together and been in the trenches together, but we've worked together on some other films before. But uh, So my background is a little varied from commercial to TV to film. So. Well, kind of a jack of all trades. <laughs> so how did you want to approach a film like Follow Her here? Because it, it is it is a genre of horror as it's being showcased here at sure. Screamfest. Sure. Well, Sylvie and I are both huge cinema fans, so I wanted to approach it not like I would approach television. You know, we wanted it to be cinematic. We wanted it to be we wanted it to be able to capture a wide audience. So we tried to not overthink things and just keep things small you know let let the let's set the stage for our cinematographer Luke Geisbuehler who beautifully filmed the, the the follow her and let our actors just do their part and i think we did i think we, we it, the film is very cinematic it's got thriller aspect to it it's got some hit twist to it and i think it's just all that hard work uh, just sort of came together so a small cast and a small crew actually helped in the indie horror like this Absolutely, because what we did is when we normally, uh, when we first started filming, it was in one location. So for the f so for the first 13 days, we were in one location. It kind of gave us the advantage of not being spread out, moving locations, not having a lot of actors. It was mostly the interaction between the Jess and Tom character in the in the barn location. So that's sort of like grounded the crew before we shifted gears and we went to shoot in Brooklyn where we were bouncing around locations and things like that but for me that's my strength because I, I live in that area so I've produced and worked in New York and in New Jersey my whole my whole career so that was sort of like my wheelhouse now specifically even though this is considered as in the horror genre subgenre is like a psychosexual thriller was it was that was that very specifically challenging to you, or is just or just another film? No, it's not just another film. The one thing that we sort of embraced was that we didn't want to have the film be a horror. Like we weren't going towards the the the, the, the effects and the slasher type, that sort of thing. We were sort of going more mental, more emotional, more psychological, where it's a play between two characters where we're not sure who the antagonists and who the protagonists are. The roles can shift. Let the audience be, you know, uncomfortable in their seat, so to speak. And it doesn't have to do with, you know, with 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 blood and guts, so to speak, but but more human interaction. So that's what we were going for. We were we were counting on the audience's intelligence on this one. So as a producer, because from from my understand, some people are already thinking trilogy, but as a producer, do you take it one film at a time or three three films? I honestly take it one film at a time. Anytime you've produced a film, direct a film, work on a film, whether you're sound, makeup, it's an accomplishment, trust me. It is a test of endurance to start and finish. And as the producer, I'm literally still working on the film, you know, uh, in, in some regards, but I've put in probably three or four years at this point, just from the development to all the way now. But I take it one step at a time. When we're done and I get some rest, maybe I'll start thinking about the second or third one. I'm just kidding, but no. Um, an amazing cast and crew, and you know, I would love to do it again, but one at a time, <laughs> one at a time. Well, I know, I know, you never sleep. So, what's up next? What's up next? Um, well.
Well, I'm, I'm also a director as well, so I'm working, I'm developing some projects. Uh, I'm really developing not a, not a horror film, but something that deals with mental well-being. And I, it's almost like a thriller type project. So I'm, I'm developing that. I'm excited that um, our Emmy Award winning show, Samantha Brown, Places to Love, on PBS is going to be premiering in January for season six. So I'm excited about that. And keep on pushing forward and pro promoting the film at the festivals. So uh, we're looking forward to having uh, Follow Her at, the, at uh, the Austin Film Festival coming up as well. So we're excited about that. Well, we're excited for you, and I can't wait to check it out in a few minutes. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank